Welcome to the cabin. Today we're customizing and painting up some MDF terrain. If you want to see more videos like this, please check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out. With that said, let's get to it. So there are plenty of companies out there making MDF terrain. MDF stands for Medium Density Fiberboard and is made from wood fibers and binders formed into panels through applying heat and pressure. It's cheap and easy to assemble, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize and paint it to make it look more immersive for your games. I'm using some terrain that I got in the Slanya Kiss My Axe starter set. There are two sheets, one made of MDF and the other cardboard. These contain all the pieces needed to assemble two huts and two fences. So the first step was to punch out all the parts. Next up, I glued them together using some PVA glue, also known as wood glue. Here's what they look like when assembled. The general shape is there, but let's make it look even better. I applied some different modeling pastes to some of the surfaces. This helps to add some texture and make it look more like the walls are made of clay or something similar. It also reinforces the cardboard parts, making them sturdier and prepping them for painting later. You can buy these pastes at craft shops or other art suppliers. I used the coarser paste for the ground to simulate soil and gravel. I wanted the rooftops on these huts to look like they're made from thatch. To simulate this texture, I used an old bath towel. I traced the shape of the unfolded roof onto the bath towel, creating a template I could cut out. After this, I dry fitted everything to check the shape, making any adjustments with scissors where necessary. Next up, I used a hot glue gun to attach the towel to the cardboard roof. When everything was firmly attached, I again used scissors to trim everything to fit. To stiffen the towel, I first sprayed some isopropyl alcohol on it. Afterwards, I applied watered-down PVA glue with a big brush. With all the prep work done, I moved on to the painting. I undercoated all the terrain with Chaos Black spray paint. Then I applied some Liquitex Titanium White from above, using my airbrush as a zenithal highlight. For the walls, I airbrushed on red terracotta. As for the doors and other wooden details, I used Beastie Brown. And for the thatched roof, I used Desert Yellow. Using a big makeup brush, I dry brushed on some squig orange on the walls as a highlight. I used Xandri dust in the same way for the doors and wooden details. And for the thatched roof, I used Ushapti bone. I dry brushed some Prexetti white quite aggressively for the gravel on the base. I then added a layer of Wildwood contrast paint. Finally, I dry brushed it with Rackarth Flesh and painted the rims with Steel Legion Drab. To add some shading, I applied a few homemade oil washes. I used three different oil paints from Winsor & Newton, mixing a little bit of paint with White Spirit. I used Burnt Sienna on the walls, Burnt umber on the doors and wooden details. And raw sienna on the thatched roof. Once it was dried, I wiped some of it off with sponges or kitchen paper, dampened with a little amount of white spirit. I also added some static grass and tufts to the base, like I did for my Slanya skull swords. Click the link on the screen right now if you want to see how I did that. After applying a 50-50 mix of matte and satin varnish, the MDF terrain was done. 
It was a very quick process to finish this terrain, and I think it made a big difference compared to just assembling it and keeping it as it was. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, I would really appreciate it. Check out my channel if you want to see more content like this, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. I'll see you next time, good luck with your miniatures.